So later on, I'm going to make a function called has camera, but for right now, I'm just going to call has camera, and it's just going to be a boolean. So it's either going to return true if they have a camera, or false if they don't, and we actually don't even need these. And that's why it's giving me this error because I didn't create it yet, but I will in just a sec. And to disable that button, what I can do is I can call Bucky's button set enabled equal to false. Now it's true by default, so that's why you don't have to turn it on or anything like that. So now let's go ahead and make that has camera method right here. So again, all this is going to do if, is check if the user has a camera. And remember, it's just going to return true or far, false, true or false, true or false. Ba -ba 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 -mommy 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 okay, got my uh, tongue exercises taken care of. So again, it's not going to take any parameters, don't need any extra information. But actually, let me, eh, I don't need to write a comment. It's only one line of code. So all this is going to do is it's going to return this get package manager. I'll explain this in a second. It has system feature, and in here, I'm going to write package manager feature camera any. There you are. All right. So again, this package manager and all of this right here is pretty much saying, okay, if your device, on your device, we're going to check if it has a feature. What feature do you want to check for? We just want to check for any camera. Now, there are different types of cameras that you can check for. You can check for only a front-facing one, only a back-facing one. But this is going to say, okay, as long as the user has any camera on their device, then we're going to return true. And as long as you return true, that button's still going to be enabled. If they don't have any camera on their device, then it's going to disable the button. So that's all that does right there. Now, another thing I want to do is remember, whenever we click this button, it calls, where's that button? On click, it calls a method called launch camera. So now we need to build that method right here. And this is going to be responsible for launching the camera. All right, so public void launch camera now inside here we need to pass through our views and let me give myself a little bit more space to work all right so in order to launch the camera what you need to do is you need to make a camera launching intent and we can just name it intent and set it equal to new intent and this means we intend to do something and to launch the camera it's media store dot action image capture so this is the intent to actually capture an image in other words launch your camera so after we take an image what we want to do is we want to take a picture and pass results and by results I mean the image information itself um, whatever you took an image of we're gonna pass the results along to something called on activity result and I'll talk to you guys through that in a second all right hold on might as well just finish typing this all right so again this is what we intend to do take a picture and this right here it pretty much kicks off that intent so as soon as you start this activity it's going to launch your camera now the reason we said start activity for result is because we want some information back after this is done happening. What information do we want back? Well just information about the image that we took. So then we can do something like save it, print it out, add some cool photo filter to it, whatever we want to do, but we need essentially that image. So we'll say, um, I don't know, if you... All right, so if you ever want to do something, uh, if you ever want to return, same thing. I don't know. So just go ahead and hit Alt Insert, and we're going to override this method, and it is called on activity result. On dun, 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 dun. There we go. Okay. All right, so this, tighten this up a little bit. 
So this on activity result is a method that's going to be called automatically after this method right here, start activity for result. So start activity for result, like I said, is we intend to capture an image. After we do, send the results along to on activity for result. So this is pretty much going to take um, the data and we'll just do whatever we say we want it to do. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to just make sure that we indeed did take an image and also that we didn't have any errors or anything like that and we can check those with these two variables right here and just a real quick if statement so you can say if request code is equal to request image capture and result code is equal to result okay so again like I just said this re request code pretty much ensures that you took an image and result code if it's result okay it means that you didn't have any errors or anything like that so if that's true then that means that you did take an image so now let's go ahead and get the data from it so get the photo photo alright so if you go to bundle extras and set this equal to data which is this that got passed in and that's the data of the photo now if you just call get extras then what you can do from here is bitmap in I'm just gonna name the photo itself photo or you can name it pick or anything like that but what this is what the heck did I just press alright okay this is taking me off so bitmap extras dot get data so again this is essentially returning the photo information and we're converting it to a bitmap and we're just storing it in the variable photo so now this photo is essentially a photo that you can use to stick right in here and in order to do that you just get your image view which is that area that can display a photo bitmap right here since we have a bitmap we want to set image bitmap to photo alright so this let me make sure everything looks good alright that looks pretty good right there now obviously if I run this in the emulator it's not gonna work because the emulator is on my computer and it doesn't have a camera so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test this on my device and uh, I'll post some screenshots of it so you guys can see what's going on let me uh do this. Let me take a screenshot of the screen I'm looking at right now. You guys could probably hear me take a screenshot. So that's what I'm looking at right now. Now I'm going to tap the take photo button. And after I tap it, this pops up. So you guys are going to see a picture of my computer. Let me take another screenshot. Alright, so that's what I'm looking at right now. And now let me actually take the photo. Alright, so I just took a photo of my computer and now I'm going to hit save. And if, after I do that, this is the final app. <laughs> and you guys, well, you guys can't see it, but um, alright, never mind. I'm like trying to talk to myself here. Alright, so hopefully if you coded everything the same as me, then yours should work too. If you have any other bugs or issues or anything then you can go to my forum just copy the source code and well if you have any questions you can ask them there as well so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys next time